Easy Designer Beginners Tutorials Lesson 9 The Pencil Tool On this lesson we're going to learn how to 1. Use the pencil tool to draw a shape 2. Adjust the nodes on the drawn shape 3. Add colour and outline to your shape 4. Add effects and styles to your shape 5. Write text with the pencil tool and use brushes Hello, this is Tony Tony's Music and the Administrator of Doodly and Tony PNGs. Welcome to Affinity Designer Beginners Tutorials Lesson 9. I'm going to open a new document, A4 Landscape, and create that. I'm going to go straight over to the left hand side where I'm going to look for the pencil tool and click on that. This is um, a free hand tool and you can use it really well with something like an XP pen or something like that. I've got my mouse so I'm going to just use my mouse to try and make a heart shape. As you can see I've done alright till I got to the last bit so I need to adjust it so I'm going to adjust it. Oh I can't adjust it because I've still got the pencil tool on. So what I need to do is just undo that first. Go on to the node tool and if I move that across there and adjust it like that and hopefully that might be alright, no it's not wait a minute, let's just go to here, bring this down here like that, adjust that like that and then maybe delete that one so I'm going to use select a, uh, a node and then use delete to get rid of it then have a look at that, see how that looks, that looks better doesn't it right now let's just go back on the node tool and click on it again because there's a few nodes here I don't really want click on that one delete, use the backspace for that one or delete for this one right. it doesn't matter which one you use as long as you use one of them it, they work for both delete or backspace I'm going to delete that one as well so backspace that one now um, besides those two you can select a few either way and you can use either of those or you can use the edit menu and get to delete there to delete them as well and that one as well delete that one so if you wanted to do that you could do that either way but you know you can get rid of as many nodes as you want, need to like if you wish there's three there I don't really need maybe four even so I'll just leave them ones for now right ok that's pretty good right now next thing you want to do is you want to colour it I suppose so I'll put the colour on so maybe we want to move it about so let's go on the move tool you can move it about with the move tool stretch it uh, make it wider or do both at the same time right um, say you want to add an outline to it you go on outline and bring that up and you want to change the colour of the outline ok click on the ring up there in the colour wheel area up here and then you can change the colour to a different colour if you wish Right, once you've done that, um, you can use effects on the item and change the Gaussian blur on it so you can make it look a bit dreamy if you wanted to or something. Um, you can do outer shadow on it, add an outer shadow like that. Obviously, that's on the outside of the actual shape itself. You can go either way by using the angle tool and you can use the offset to take it even further away but if you use the slider for the offset afterwards it will go revert back to the maximum on there so you'd have to use the offset tool to change it again if you needed to right and the radius makes the actual shape of the shadow uh, become more blurry you know so it isn't so strong it looks more softer right and you can change the opacity of that to make it really really sharp and not so sharp now you could have like a very light colour of shadow if you need to right um, 
you can do the same with the inner shadow but with the inner shadow it's a bit different to the outer shadow because that's on the inner side of the actual shape so it goes on the actual border at the moment it's on the outline as you can see there now if I took the outline off what would happen it goes on to the outline of the shape itself rather than disappears altogether right so remember that so if you put the, the outline back on you can change where the shadow goes on the inside as well right so remember that right you got your outer glow and inner glow which are the same as what you do with the shadows only it's just light and, it, and they, they work on the outline of the actual shape the outer glow goes on the outer glow of the outline or the perimeter the inner glow inner glow goes on the inside of the perimeter of the shape itself which means that if you have it on the um, with a an outline it will be on the inside of the outside of the border let me explain that by showing it because <laughs> it's a bit hard to explain otherwise right so what I'm going to do I'm just going to get this shape and I'm going to make it black so you can see properly and I'm going to put that at the back so arrange that to back so I can use it on this so I'm going to show you first of all the outer glow on the shape as you can see it's on the outside of the outline of the shape if I took the outline off it would be on the outside of the shape itself yeah now if I put that border back on and change the colour back to yellow which it was right now I'll go on to the inner glow right now the inner glow will be a bit different we'll have a look at that the inner glow is on the inner side of the outline at the moment that's what it looks like it's actually on the inside of the shape because the line the outline is just been put on top of it right so if I take off the stroke now oops wrong stroke I've got it on the wrong one there I meant to do it off that one take the stroke off that right now you see it's on the inside of the shape right and that's the inner glow so it's on the inside of the shape rather than the outside of the shape okay so the inner glow works on the outline when you have a, a shape on it there you go look it's on the outline now and it'll only show on the outline on the inner glow so remember that when you've got the outline on if you haven't got the outline on it'll go on the inside of this shape at the very inside of the perimeter basically and that's what it does okay now you can add an extra outline to your image by this outline down here is different from the one up there so you get an extra outline on um, I'll just take off this first get rid of that first and as you can see there's an outline on there coming up right so that means an extra outline right and you can do click on that um, the cog wheel and you can change the fill style from solid to contour or gradient so if you wanted to change it and put a gradient on the outside line that what the black one you can make that a gradient if you want as well as the inside gradient on the inner outline and put a gradient on there as well so you could have three gradients on it besides the other gradients that are down here which is the colour overlay and gradient overlay as well so you could do them you could do the bevel emboss on this as well even though it's a shape that you've drawn yourself so you can use all those things right you can also add style to it instead of um, colour so if you want to add a style let's say put a different style on for a change let's do this one as you can see it looks very 
well, a piece of metal. Excuse me, sorry, I made a mistake there doing that. That looks like a piece of metal on there, doesn't it? Like it was like the metal grilling you get sometimes in some other places I've been. Um, that's what it looks like a metal grilling there. Uh, you can do that, but you'd, if you wanted to put a stroke on it and you put a stroke on it first and then done that, you'll find the stroke will have gone. But you can put it back on. It's simple as that. It's easy to put it back on. Right? So you can use effects and styles on your shapes. Now, the other thing is, if you wanted to draw um, some some text instead of a shape, for example, let's cut this off for now. Let's put let's do pencil tool, and I'll write my name. You'll have to excuse my penmanship. I'm not the best um, at uh, writing, really. But, you know, I'm using a, mo uh, a mouse anyway, rather than a pen tool. Um, so, there we go. I've got my uh, name on. I can change the colour if we want to, whatever, on most of it. Make sure you select what you need to, to get the colour you want, I suppose. Um what I want to show you now is the brushes. You can use the brush tool on these to give it some nice effects. Right, so we want we've got acrylics, change different styles there. Uh, there's a lot of no, nice ones in this fine line of brushes. These are really good. You've got really different textures and things that you can use on this to make them look really great. Like so. Uh -huh. And there's some more there, look. Some lovely shapes and designs that you can make your particular message that you want to give. Pretty cool, you know what I mean? Or you can use these for the, the edging round some of the shapes that you got as well. You know, there's lots of different ones there. Let's have a look, that's it. I think that's that one and um, you got a graving brushes these are pretty cool as well you can make things look um, like electric if you've got the red colouring on them and that they look really snazzy you know so if you want to do that sort of thing use these brushes for that sort of thing you can you can add a bit of texture to it you know and stuff like that you got all sorts of different things there there's a lot of things to go through, so you can use it for that sort of thing as well. Uh, it add extra, extra to, like say, if you want to do a card or something, you can make it snazzy with a your own kind of um, writing on, like for example, like that. <laughs> it's a bit unusual, but I mean, you know, at the end of the day, whatever, whatever you fancy at the time, it might be useful. Um, you can't use the sh styles on these so well because it makes them go funny uh, let me show you in a minute let's do let's make sure it's there right now we'll do a style on the text that you'd write with it this is what happens you get funny shapes like that with the text it doesn't you can use this styles on the on the shapes but when it comes to the text you can't really do it properly it doesn't work Right, so you, if you draw a shape like that, and you want to put your fill on, and then you can do great texts, um, great texture styles, and that on the shape. But on there, it looks they look right, does it? So that's about the best you can do with all them. I mean, you can use the um, crop tool to crop your images that you've done with a pencil tool as well so I'm okay for doing that if you wish you know whatever you want to do with it like that so um, you can also reduce the size of them with the move tool um, what else is that I don't think there's anything else you can use your flip tools and your um, rotate clockwise and anti-clockwise with them. You can also 
add pieces together by right, uh, selecting them both together and doing that and that would happen right um, let's delete that a minute we'll cut that off and start again with another shape uh, pencil I'm using my pencil got the heart shape and then just click on that and then red then I want to add another shape do that in blue. There we go. Let's take off the stroke on that one. Right now, say we want to just take one off the other. Let's just do that, shall we? It'll work. Don't worry. There you go. So you can do that. You can do all that sort of stuff as well. So you needed to do that. All them useful implements are available for using with your pencil tool and you can use the effects to make great use of uh, different effects there and you can use the styles to add a bit of texture to some of your styles as well of um, shapes and things you know so if you want to do that please have a go at it see what you can do with it let me know what you've done with uh, the shapes that I've told you how to do some certain shapes and what you can do with the pencil tool. If there's anything you want to know about the pencil tool that I haven't covered, please get in touch with me on either YouTube or Doodly Internally PNGs. It'd be great. Uh, you can also catch me sometimes on Doodly Users Group uh, by Solo Boss. Um, I'm on there as well. So if you do really want to um, ask me a question, please do so i'd really love to hear from you anyway thank you very much for watching my uh, channel and my uh, tutorial i really do hope you enjoyed it and please remember to like and subscribe to town music thank you